Welcome back to Drive World, and today I wanted to show you how to do race circuit. First, I'll show you the tune. So I have my car maxed, and I use the stock gears instead of 10 because I keep my around the world tune on here. And this is currently the tune that I use for race circuit. And this is the best suspension tune that I could find. The only problem with this is going around the curbs, it sometimes wants to spin out. Also throughout the entire video, I'll have my W, A, S, and D on the top left of the screen so you can see how I turn. First off, I'll do a race and then I'll explain everything I do in the race. There we go with the 58 second time. Now I'll play the race again, but I'll explain everything I do in it. Off the start, you want to use most of your boost. Right here, you want to go as far left as possible so that you can turn and keep your momentum. Around this corner, I break a little bit so I can be as far left of the checkpoints as possible. Right after I go through this checkpoint, I use all my boost. Around here is when I break to get myself set up to go straight to the next turn over there. On this next straight, if you hold gas and take the turn wide enough, you're able to go around without having to break at all. Once I go through this checkpoint, I use a little bit of my boost. Right here, I try to line myself as far left of the checkpoint as possible. I slow down a lot here so I can keep as far right of these checkpoints as possible and the closer you can get to the right the faster time you'll have. Once I've went through that checkpoint and I've straightened out a bit I use a little bit of my boost. Once again I take this as sharp as possible so I can get to the finish as fast as possible. Around when you go through this checkpoint you want to use the rest of your boost. Now you've made it to the second lap but around this next corner you have more speed than you did before. You're still going to want to take it as far left as possible, but because you're going faster, you're not going to be able to go as wide. Also, you're going to be doing the same boost pattern for both laps. You also want to get as close to this wall as possible, but then you have a risk of crashing. Coming into the last straight, since you don't have to take another wide turn, you can stay as close to the wall as possible. And there you go, you have a good time. Before we get back into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. This took me a while to make, and it would be appreciated. Also join my Discord. Now I'll show you one lap in slow-mo so you can follow my exact steps.
Also, I'm not 100% sure, but the P1 GTR might be a little bit better than the Yesco. But from my testing, I've gotten faster with the Yesco, and I hold the world record currently. To end it off, I'll show you my best time. All right, that's going to be it for today. Let me know down in the comments your best time. Let's go set some world records. I really want to get a sub 58 seconds, so let me know down in the comments your best time with this tune, and I'll see you later. Peace.